how you guys doing today man it's the boy dave and today we're back with another texas chainsaw massacre video now shout out to a subscriber richard for tagging me in this on twitter um i was actually cleaning i saw my notification on twitter i ran upstairs told my girlfriend i needed to record a video so here we are uh this is pretty much a developer interview uh, as you guys can see here you guys know i love insight and seeing the creative process of how things come to whether it's movies games anything of the sort i'm all for it. this is the stuff i actually I, like i absolutely love it but uh here we are and um I, I love that there's always something around the corner whether it's the in-game screenshots you know we just got the technical test announcement the the actual release date announcement that's going to come in august and we just got more things around the corner little by little so let's get started i'm excited nottingham Nottingham, home to the legendary Robin Hood and his trusty bow. But okay. now, I hear there's a new guy in town, and he's got a chainsaw. Oh. Oh. We sat down with the team at the Sumo Digital Nottingham Studio to get all the details on their latest title, the highly anticipated and iconic, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Man. With a growing number of titles in the asymmetrical I'm gonna, multiplayer space. Ooh, hold on. How is I'm gonna pause sometimes during the video just to kind of just talk. So don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. Oh, is it working? Texas Chainsaw go. Massacre is going to set itself apart. The first thing that's really obvious is we're 3v4. A lot of the other titles in the area are 1v4. Mm -hmm. um, we've added the extra killers, and that comes from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre IP itself. The IP. The, the movie is all about family, protecting their way of life. We've mm. brought that into the game, and being family and playing as a family is, is really important. And you can only do that with, with kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre authentically. So, so like I said before, bro, I, I still always go back to revisit my first initial response to hearing this is a 3v4. Perfect, perfect time to do so, seeing that it is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, and you already got the family, you got to, you know, put in here some, you know, of course, um i was it was off-putting when i first heard it but the more i thought about it the more i did like it uh there's a lot of opportunity that does come with making this you know project a 3v4 of course um and i can't wait to see how you know we we never had to deal with something like this so i can't wait to see how that that works out i always think about that we've been really fortunate with texas chainsaw massacre that we've had heavy involvement from kim henkel himself he was involved in the original film heavily and his current rights holders um, there's a lot of characters that he's created in the lore of the 74 original movie. Yeah. And we've taken those characters with him. We've fleshed them out, given them abilities that all match and make them balance as part of gameplay. And now they're actually in our game and kind of playable. Yeah. This is set a, a month or two or a year or so just before the original film. So what, what's it like to be there? And that's, that, that then wins its way all the way through the gameplay to the the perks, the abilities. Yeah, well, lighting was, has been a fundamental part of the game. In a lot of games, the lighting is just aesthetic. Uh, and I don't mean that to be Beautiful simplistic, game. but it's just about how do you make it look good. But for us, it's a fundamental part of the gameplay. Our players, especially the victims from the beginning, start in a basement where it's very, very dark and work yeah. their way up into <laughs> sometimes a nighttime or sometimes a, a daytime area. But they have to use that, whatever that lighting is, they have to use it to hide and use their stealth all the way through. Just like in film, the music and sound design behind a project. Let me pause and say this too, like we're talking about like aesthetic lighting, uh, quality, graphic, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is a hill that I always, man, I, I'm always going to re, you know, voice my opinion about how well the game looks and for people who aren't feeling like this game like just you know as far as the quality it's not there uh i've actually heard people complain about certain um settings looking too dark and i mean that's they're not hiding <laughs> that at all some of these places uh you know some of these maps take points at different times of the day it's gonna be dark in some of these areas it, it's, it's not like that's something they're just like oopsie it's it's meant to be that like, I, I see that a lot, and it's kind of frustrating because everybody, I, I saw a comment on Twitter, pretty much somebody saying, like, oh, this looks dark, it looks bad. It look, well, that's the point. It's not supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be a cakewalk. It's meant to, you know, come with some struggle, and that's what we're going to have to deal with, the family and the victims. So. Jack can make it or break it for a player. How have you guys made sure that this is up to speed? 
One of the big things that we've got in Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the use of a, an instrument called the apprehension engine, which creates mm. all kinds of weird and wonderful sounds that are synonymous with horror kind of music. We've taken kind of streams from that, and our kind of audio director, Ross Dragenza, has done wonders with building up the tension throughout the game. Love it. Different kind of instruments, different sounds, and it kind of reflects the experience that's coming through with what he does with the orchestration of, of those sounds. There okay. were field trips out to Texas, um, everything from the plants, the, fa the fauna, the bushes, even the birds and the bird sounds are authentic to that area of Texas as well. So the original that. chainsaw that was in the game was a kind of a modified version um, that they made for the movie. We've actually sourced the same make and model, done the same modification, and just recreated that. Let me go back. Actually sourced. I, I might be late on some, like I don't keep up with every, I keep up with whatever I can, and it is a lot. But is this, have we seen this before? Make and model, done the same model. Just super curious, nothing crazy. Like I just, I don't think I've ever seen this shot before. Beautiful shot. I just don't know if I've seen it. Um, believe it or not, even with what the the little we've seen, there's a lot of, you know, you know, gameplay footage. You know, whether it's IGN or just wherever. There's a, there's a good amount that we've seen. Even though we've seen little, there is a good amount that we've seen at the same time. I don't think I've ever seen this shot. I don't know. Hmm. Modifications recreated that. That's been 3D scanned, so that's gone into the game as is in the film. And also sound recordings been done of that, that chainsaw itself. So you'll start off very quiet. What does this place sound like when it's silence? What does silence sound like in the game? Some of those are actual strategies in the game, right? The game, as a victim, it's all about being stealthy as possible. I and mean, you start right. in a crouched position. So that's you know really unusual. I don't know any other game. I got to go back to it. It's crazy that, of course, they push stealth as a very important aspect of this game. And people complain about the lighting. That doesn't make sense to me. Possible, and you start in a crouched position. So that's you know really unusual. I don't know any other game that does that. And right. it tells you a lot about what this game's going to be about. It's not a run around game. It's about using your stealth as much as possible, hiding in shadows, doing things quietly. You can Open choose to do things quietly. Exactly. You can choose to do things quickly. You can choose to do things loudly, but the family will know where you are. Right. So that you do that at your own peril. So it's, right. it's, it's all about choices. It's all about giving the player choice as to what to do. We had at the top of our minds when we first started, we were making a game as we go back to the first question, asymmetric horror, this is 3v4. And one of those guys is Leatherface with a chainsaw. How do we make sure that we don't have everyone just going, I just want to be Leatherface. And right. it was really rewarding to see in very early playtests that people were like, I want to be cook. I, I like doing that bit because that's my play style. I like being sneaky and like hearing around for who's there. Other people really love playing the hitchhiker. They love setting up those traps. And when they yep. go off, there's this big, I go on, I go on. And yeah, people yeah. are really joyous. Um, and on the flip side, it's a complete. And just to add, like, it's crazy when they say that because that that's that's literally what it's been from from all the fans, I mean, including myself. I'm not even eyeing Leatherface right now. Not that I don't care for Leatherface. Leatherface is gonna be very fucking fun to play as. I'm eyeing the cook. Sissy's a big hit with people. Uh, Johnny. Um, it, it, I can't wait. I can't wait. Completely. There's kind of two games there for some people. Two different play experiences. Especially on the flip side, we've got the victims, and they're playing a more stealthy, less attacking game. They've got to sneak around and use kind of true-to-life hide-and-seek um, yeah. mind games, if you will. What is the team here focused on right now? We've got all the right things in the right places. The team of is focused on upping the quality now. We've done a great job so far this year of getting focus testers in. We've had them in quite early on. They're helping us shape the game through their feedback. What we hey, I was looking... Hey, I was looking on a computer screen to see if there's anything that I haven't seen. I'm not going to lie to you. We've had them in quite early on. They're helping us shape the game through their feedback. What we ex watch them experience, we'll go through and we'll, we'll tighten those things up. So we've got a, a nice run ahead of us to, to make this game as polished an experience as, as it can be and that we want it to be and be truly something special for all the fans out there. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That was very fun to watch. Um, can we get more of that? I just, I love every fucking bit of just like not just the behind this. Anything behind the scenes is always fun to watch. 
um that reminds me uh any i know i've asked probably a couple people any headphone recommendations for pc go ahead and drop them down below if you guys have them i want to make there's a lot of games coming out but just specifically for this with their what they're doing with the sound design i want to make sure i get the best experience that i can uh i have these like weird sony wired headphones which are great i've had them for quite a while probably as long as i've had my pc um but i can't wait to experience this in its entirety keep this coming please from from every from every end guys please keep this coming i love every bit of this this is super fun if you guys like me talking about this stuff and you want to see me live stream and talk about this tonight as well go ahead and comment down below i will leave a poll on my channel this was really fucking fun hope you guys enjoy the video and i'm gonna see y'all next time